You don't have to do this with small block shoving. That's slick right there, man. I always feel better about an engine when a crank goes in. <laughs> and it works. And it works, yeah. These blocks will hold a lot of power. I've made almost 4,000 with some turbo motors. Really? They held up fine. Oh my. Next, Chuck gently snugs up the main caps before torquing them down. All right, what are we talking to here? 100 foot pounds. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit about the rod and piston assembly that we're using. A Lenati H beam rod. It is a Chevrolet rod. We use a 2200 Chevy Journal and a 990 pin. Mm -hmm. A diamond piston. Uh, these are coated, helps with power a little bit. They are gas ported. It's a pretty serious piece for what we're doing here. And of course you can see it's a flat top. Mm -hmm. Get good flame travel without a dome compared to some of the other brands. <laughs> <laughs> like how Pro put spiral locks in. It's fingers. There, fingers. Now tell me about the ring pack in this uh, Total seal rings, we use them exclusively here, about all we use. A C33 steel, stainless steel top ring for that kind of power level. Holds up really well. 043 thickness. Uh, we use a Napier cast second ring. Napier does a really good job wiping and keeping them dry. Oil control, yep. And then we use a three millimeter oil ring. Okay. How long have you been building engines, Chuck? Since I was 15, actually the first engine building job I had was working for John Deere. Okay. On heavy equipment. A lot of us engine builders, we all start off doing the same type of thing. I, I started off building two and a half horse Tecumseh's all the way up to Detroit's and all everything in between, you know. Didn't have anything to do with racing. And getting to work here and, and be around Kazi and Sometimes it's fun just to bounce ideas off of him. And, mm -hmm. and you know, he may not say nothing, just look at you. A month later, he'll come back, you know, you're onto something, or you know, let's, let's, you know, we need to do this with that. You know, I kind of like that, or, or he'll just tell you, don't mess with that. <laughs> we'll talk to Roz to 75 foot pounds. And with that, the Pistons are in. Coming up, the big block gets a top-notch top end. Then we go hunting for horses in the dino cell. With the Pistons installed, the big block Ford is ready for a camshaft. This custom ground solid roller is from Comp. With big lift and duration, it's designed to make power between 5 and 7,000 RPM. The timing set comes from innovative